today we are at New Homestead on Titan and we are buying a new ship, the Vagabond. It is a rusty pile of junk, but we're going to make it into something special. So far our base level, we have our landing gear, which is NG20 landing gear wide. We have one, two, three of those. We have the 120 LD landing bay from Deimos. And we have a Nova braking engine on either side of the landing gear. For our fuel tank, we have the H40 Atlas Helium-3 tank. And our shield is a 44T Defender Shield Generator. For the top part of our build, we have the Cabot Seafall Bridge with a Nova Galactic Control Station 2x1 on the top middle attachment point with a Extender Port 200 Docker top. Then we have our DC-303 Fast Ignition Reactor and RD-3000 Beta Grav Drive with our Hercules DT-160 engine in the back. On the left we have Nova Kowlin 2 LSM with a Nova Galactic Workshop 2x1 and a Nova Kowlin 2 LSA and further out from that we have the Nova Kowlin 2 LSF with another Hercules DT-160 engine and on the other side we have Nova Kowlin 2 LPM with a Nova Galactic Science Lab 2x1 and a Nova Kowlin 2LPA. And then on the outer edge, we have Nova Kowlin 2LPF with a Nova Hercules DT160 engine. We're going to select all of that, and that will slot nicely onto the top of our ship. Just like that. So it covers our fuel tank and our braking engines. Here's our rust bucket all finished up. I need to just give it a lick of paint. For the colour scheme, I've gone with the default Nova Galactic colouring. So it's just this white and reddy copper colour. Although I did leave the reactor, which is like a greeny colour, which was the same colour as the one on the original ship, just to break up that colour a little bit. For the weapons, I have added four PBO-175 autohelion beams just on the, the front cowlins here. Two on one, one side and two on the other. Then I have the Torch P250 MWUV pulse lasers. They're on the outer edge of the cowlin. And then I have four Firebolt 4000 suppressors just on the back here. Got my undivided attention. 